Well, you know, we are going through huge changes and transformations, and it is very stressful on the physical body. And some of us, or many of us, are going through ascension symptoms, and what they are is fatigue, tiredness, exhaustion, insomnia, anxiety, tinnitus, loss of appetite. And so when when you're experiencing one or several of these symptoms, or you're just plain old exhausted and fatigued, then have some time out. That part is very important. Step out, have a pause. We, we call this having a full stop in New Zealand, a period, a, a rest, and learn how to ground. What that means is to bring in the energies from the great central sun, run it through your body, into your feet, and then feel and see that energy going out of your feet and into the earth. When you do this, you release the fatigue, you let go of all the e emotions that are outdated, that no longer serve you, you let go of all the vibrations that are not in aligned with your highest self, and in that way it helps to rejuvenate you. It helps to replenish your energy supplies. The other thing I want to really stress is that it is very important to s spend time in nature, to connect, to connect with the Creator, to connect with the Spirit, with all the energies of the universe, because that replenishes our soul, our bodies, and our spirit. And that spiritual food is as important as the food we feed our bodies. And then speaking of food, you'll notice that certain foods are no longer as palatable or as, as, as appealing as others. So listen to your body. Eat the foods that are light, that, that you feel have life force, and let go of the foods that slow you down, that seem very heavy. You know, um, I've been a vegetarian for over 30 years, and I've got friends that both eat meat and who are vegetarians. So I'm not, I'm not uh, encouraging or su suggesting you become a vegetarian. However, listen to your body. If the meats that you used to eat feel very heavy and are not as easily digestible, well, perhaps you might want to eat some more live foods, and that means fresh vegetables, fresh fruits, and have drink lots of water. Because as we're going through these changes, it creates a lot of toxins in the body. It creates acid. And when you have too much acid in the body, then you get flu-like symptoms. You get ill. You get the organs become sluggish, and the chi is blocked. So the more fluids you drink, the more alkaline, you keep your body with lemons, limes in your water, the better off you'll feel. And then the sleep is very crucial. We're um, finding that we are needing more sleep, more rest. And so if you, if you need to take naps in the afternoon, or you find that your sleeping patterns have changed from six to seven hours, now you're needing nine or eight hours, well, allow yourself, allow yourself that, that rest. And really love yourself, nurture, nurture your spirit. Learn to forgive. We need to forgive and let go. Let go of all the old hurts and all the old patterns, the woundedness, because the more you let that go, the more your heart can fill up with love, with joy, with abundance and prosperity. So that's how we are giving birth to our new selves.